Wow. <gasps> Buddy, we're live. We got to say hi to all the people. Are you ready? Did I turn them around? Let's see. No, you're good. Let's see. <gasps> There's the boy. Hi, Bill. How you doing? Can you say hi? You Zip you, yeah, that's nice waving, bud. Hi, Karen. Hi, Debbie. And Zave, your grandpa's on. Ooh. Say hi, grandpa. You wait, say hi. 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 Good job. Yeah. And Vicky, I know, is on. Hi, Vicky. This is our, our virtual little guy. Robert, hello. Roberto. Oh, there's a doggy. Zave, can you do wheels on the bus for everybody? Good job. That's Zave's favorite song is the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Yeah. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Bob. This is Zave checking in, doing wheels on the bus arms. He's always doing his wheels on the bus. <laughs> Marty says hi to you, buddy. Can you say hi, Marty? Hi. Hi. Thank you, Vicky. He's a fun guy. All right. Are you going to say bye bye? You going to go to the park? Yeah, we are. Can you wait bye bye to mama? Bye. <laughs> He's using his words some too. We love it. All right, kiddo. See you later. We got to get to work. Say bye, mama. That's nice, buddy. <laughs> All right. That's enough of that. I love you. Bye. <laughs> um, yes, one of these days, I promise I will get him on in live, live, live again. But I figure that's better than nothing, right? Yep, he is off to the park in his bus. <laughs> Roger and Patty, it's great to see you guys. Yep, Vicky, he is a lot of fun. He's just growing every day. So learning new things. Y'all make sure um, either now or at some point during class, if you're having a great time, um, give us a thumbs up on the video. If you go underneath the video, there's a little thumbs up button that helps other people to find us and helps um, just everything. So, oh yeah, Marty, I feel like it's a pretty universal thing. Although one of my friends says that the next phase or the next stage after loving the song is then despising the song. So we'll see. <laughs> um, Y'all make sure that you've got some water. Chris is here, ready to sing. Um, Robert Camper, thank you for your song suggestions. We are using two of those songs today. Um, we are on a Credence Clearwater Revival kick today. Um, so we are three for three, CCR. Um, get your water so that you're ready to go. And we're gonna get started. Awesome, y'all. I see those thumbs up coming in. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks to everybody that got on our uh, birthday bash. It was a really super fun event. Um, Mary. Hi, Mary. And thank you to everybody um, who applied for our ambassador program. We are really excited about all of our ambassadors um, to really get out there and start help, helping us to spread the word about Power for Parkinson's and all the free stuff that we do. Um, so we are really, really grateful for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So um, a lot of times you may, some people think that they're subscribed and they actually just haven't clicked that button. So right underneath the video, there's a thing that says either subscribe or possibly subscribed. I don't know. Um, so make sure you've clicked that because then you'll get little notifications whenever we're live, whenever we upload new videos, um, something like that. So, all right, let's get started. Let's put on a big smile because it's Wednesday. We're here together having a good time. And let's start like we always start. So let's focus on our posture today. We don't often take a ton of time talking about our posture, but it is really important for singing, especially when we're singing in a seated position. Um, it's not always the super best position for singing. Um, hi, Melinda. Good to see you. Joe, hi. Great to have you guys on. Um, so when we are singing and see singing and sitting, that's a tongue twister for us, um, we want to make sure that our back is straight. Imagine there's a thread pulling your head up. So not like reaching, 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 right? But we're sitting up really straight and tall. Shoulders actually are lower than, um, you know, they're kind of pulling down away from your ears. Your sternum is up. So we've also got that string to the ceiling from the sternum. 
And we have lots of room to breathe and take those good deep belly breaths. So let's start with one of those right now. Here we go. Awesome. Melinda and Joe, let me know where you guys are from. I don't know that I remember. So that would be great. Hi, Heidi. Yes, running late with good posture. If that counts. <laughs> all right. Another big deep breath all the way deep into the belly. Here we go. And one more. Those deep, deep belly breaths should feel really refreshing. Um, a lot of times when we're going day to day, we're not really taking deep, powerful belly breaths. Um, so our blood and body is not getting all of that oxygen it needs. So yay, Jane. Oh, Joe, Michigan. Awesome. I don't know if we have other folks. I mean, I'm sure we have other folks, but I don't know that anyone's checked in from Michigan yet. So that's really cool. All right. Let's shrug those shoulders up as we take a deep breath in, connecting our breath and our body because they are all one unit. Jane, I see what you did there. Oh, what a beautiful morning. And shoulders down, roll those shoulders in a circle. Melinda, Melinda, where are you checking in from? All right, rolling, rolling, working out all those kinks. Any crunchy spots, wanna make them more fluid. Nice job. Raise one, lower the other, feeling some comfortable tension between the shoulders. <sighs> Always remembering to connect our breath to our stretching. That's something that I'm sure you hear with Nadine in her Relax and Reset is about connecting the breath and the body and switch it out. But it's a great thing to do. Hi, Spencer. Oh, good, Louisiana. Awesome. Awesome, I know we have another Ludmilas from Louisiana. I think we have some more folks too. Very cool. All right, shimmy shake it out. Lovely job. Let's get into the head a little bit. So we're gonna tip ear to shoulder. Nice work. Any of my regulars want to remind us in the chat um, why we are doing a physical warm up for a vocal exercise class. Thoughts, feelings, emotions, considerations, let me know. Come on up. Switch sides, Norman, Arkansas. Lynn, checking in. Norman, Arkansas with potable water? Question mark? No. Arkansas, Norman, they were struggling. All right, Joan. Joan is ready to warm up. Come on up and tucking chin to chest, looking down at the floor. Breathing as we stretch. Come on up and let's smooth it out. All right, I'll give you the answer. The reason we're doing a physical warm up in our vocal exercise class, we're rotating all the way down into the other shoulder, is to connect the voice, the breath, the body, to find our center, to find ourselves right here um, together in class. So connecting with our body helps connect with our minds, fires everything up so that we are well positioned. Oh, Bill found a buddy in Michigan. Love it. All right. Great job. Clasp those hands in front. This is our last little stretch. Push forward, rounding the back. All right. Yes, Bill. We've got Joe in Michigan. Let's hope he's uh, on your team. <laughs> All right, and open those arms back and down, puffing out the chest, getting that opposite stretch going. All right. Awesome. Let's chew really big with the face. Hi, Jamie. I'm glad you're here. Over exaggerating which I realize is from the Department of Redundancy Department, over-exaggerating. Good. Let's say E and pull the corners of the mouth back. E and ooh, pushing and puckering forward. E, ooh, E, ooh, E, ooh, E, ooh. 
Lovely. We're going to open it up to an O, which is a long, and then an ah, which opens a little wider. O, ah, O, ah, O, ah, O, ah. Lovely. Just for kicks. Let's go all four. E, U, O, ah. Again, E, U, O, ah. See if we can reverse it. Ah, o, u, e. Ah, o, u, e. Lovely. All right. Let's do a little bitty scale on the way up. We're just going to say, hey, 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 hey. And I want you to really practice engaging that core and the diaphragm and really articulate and punctuate each one of those on the way up. We're saying the word hey. Here we are. Hey, 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 moving up. Hey, 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 moving up. Hey, 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 one more. Hey, 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 hey. Hi, Lana. Yes, Bob. Gooly, gooly, gooly. I, I appreciate the article that you sent me very much. All right. Um, never underestimate the power of music, Heidi says. So wonderful. Yes, it is absolutely true. I'm right there with you. All right. Let's move along to our tongue twisters. Are you ready? Here we are. Um, if you need to find our lyrics document, if you go to the very top of the chat box, I think it's up here. We'll see. Yeah. Delaney's here and she's nodding that I'm pointing in the right location. Um, there's a blue bar with a little uh, thumbtack and that is the link to our lyrics document. So what I would suggest doing is clicking on that and then it'll open in a new window um, and you can put me side by side with it. You can open it on your phone and have me on your computer, whatever works for you. You can print it if you want, but here we go. Our very first one is my cutlery cuts Keenly and cleanly. My cutlery cut keenly and cleanly. All right. Um, we are going to um, really, really, really super exaggerate. Okay. I want you to spit your consonants at me. Okay. So again, we really want to be super intentional about our exaggeration. Okay. So that when we are in regular conversation, um, our sort of baseline has been elevated. Okay, so here we go. My cutlery cuts clean, keenly and cleanly. Let's say it three times in succession. Here we go. My cutlery cuts keenly and cleanly. My cutlery cuts keenly and cleanly. My cutlery cuts keenly and cleanly. Well done. You do not always have to um, say these quickly, right? So um, if saying it quickly is getting jumbled in your mouth, the more important thing is to say it clearly. So if slower works better for you, my cutlery cuts keenly and cleanly. That's what we want because we want this to translate into spoken conversation, right? Um, which you don't need to be fast for. You just need to get your point across and be understood. So number two, our second tongue twister is Reading and writing are richly rewarding. Again, reading and writing are richly rewarding. Those R's are not quite as easy of, um, of, of consonants to really articulate. Um, so just focus on it being, um, being heard, right? And um, I don't know where my brain just went. Okay, reading and writing are richly rewarding. Let's say it three times, one after another, not necessarily quickly. Um, we're focusing on how it can be heard. I feel like there's a word out there. That's where my brain keeps going. There's like a word, it's not legible. It's like the spoken or sound equivalent of legible. If you've got it, let me know. All right, reading and writing are richly rewarding. Reading and writing are richly rewarding. Reading and writing are richly rewarding. 
Lovely. All right. Marty says, never underestimate the power of a smile and a positive attitude. And you know, I agree with that. Um, Sharon, I'm so glad you're here and too bad about the dog, but you're here now and that's what counts. All right. Speaking of dogs, our third tongue twister about Lucy and her lost lap dog. Mm, so sad. All right, let's go. Lucy lingered looking longingly for her lost lap dog. Lucy lingered, looking longingly for her lost lap dog. All right, three times together, here we go. Lucy lingered, looking longingly for her lost lap dog. Lucy lingered, looking longingly for her lost lap dog. Lucy lingered, looking longingly for her lost lap dog. Lovely. Let's see, Robert, what are you telling me? Verbal equivalent of illegible is unintelligible, but we want it to be intelligible, right? So there you go. No slurring, cleanly articulated. All of this. Yes, you guys are good. Okay. Thank you. Our last tongue twister for today is five flippant Frenchmen fly from France for fashions. I'm disappointed that George is not here right now um, to discuss our Frenchmen with their fashions. All right. Articulately, yes, Jay, um, Bill, thank you. Here we go. Let's see. Five flippant Frenchmen fly from France for fashions. Let's do it thrice. Here we are. Five flippant Frenchmen fly from France for fashions. Again, five flippant Frenchmen fly from France for fashions. Last one. Five flippant Frenchmen fly from France for fashions. Lovely. Great work all. Um, those you can continue to work on on your own at home. You can go back to previous weeks. Um, those are great things just to kind of get your voice and brain working at the same time. Let's get on to our warm up song. We have Home on the Range. Um, we're going to put some movements with it. Might be kind of tricky. We'll see. It's, it is going to be tricky, actually. I know it is. But we're going to have fun with it. So let's sing through it first. Um, we do sing through it twice. The first time, the first line is, oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. The second time, the first line is home, home on the range. Okay. That's why the, if you're looking at our lyrics, um, it's in parentheses, the home on the range, um, because I don't know, I couldn't be bothered to write it out twice. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so let's sing through it. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Now home. Home, home on the range. Where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. All right. So we've got to have our imaginary cowboy hat. Yes, Sharon, our boots with spurs and all that good stuff on. This is a good cowboy song. So um, the movements that we're going to do, kind of crazy. So. We're starting here in kind of like a prayer position. One hand, and I'm not going to tell you right or left, pick a hand, any hand will work, is going to cover halfway. Okay, so it's covering the other hand halfway. Then we're going to make a box. So that hand that's covering halfway comes out to the end. I think we've done this in our Powerful Pipes class once, and it was like crazy. So let's just see. Um, so we've got a, a box here, right? This are going to come together. So we close the box, then switch. So we're going from one side. Nothing's happening with your hands other than just switching directions. Then we rotate it all down, rotate it all back, and clap. Let's go through it slowly again. We've got the middle, halfway. Rectangle, close, switch, down, up, 
and clap. Are you with me? This is crazy. Okay, then we can do it the other direction. Same exact thing, right? So whichever way you just went, pick the other hand and it's gonna go halfway over, open to a rectangle, close it, switch, down, up, and clap. I'm gonna need Delaney to do this one with me so that I can see how hard it is. <laughs> She's like making a face like, you're crazy. I'm crazy, it's okay. Okay, so we've got here, over, rectangle, close, switch, down, up, and clap. <sighs> Y'all, I'm crazy. I don't know what I was thinking. We're just gonna go with it. Have fun with it. Um, do your best. And if just the words are working for you right now, that's great. If you want to challenge yourself and give it a whirl, I know you guys typically like, like a challenge, so I'm giving it to you. Let's go slow. So it's going to be, oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. How are we doing? <laughs> Delaney's like, you're insane. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. How are we doing? Again, slowly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're going to try it again. We're going to do the second part. So home, home on the range. Slowly-ish. Here we go. Let's see. Oh boy. Good challenge, Heidi says. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this will be one that you can come back to later. It's going to be up for a whole week for everybody. And then, um, like asking a centipede how to walk. And Joe, not too good. That's okay. Laugh at yourself. I'm laughing at myself. Um, this is something that I don't know why we used to do in like high school or something. And it just came back to me. And I was like, ooh, I don't know. So that was like, now it, it's a lot more, a uh, lot less clear in the brain right now. So we got it. Let's try again. Okay. Home, home on the range. Slowly. Home, home on the range. That was not slow, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where the deer and the antelope play. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word. And the skies are not cloudy all day. Y'all are awesome. JK, hi, good to have you with us. Thank you. I'm glad you're having fun. Fun is key, right? Even when we're doing hard things, although like as um, some, some folks were talking yesterday, fun sometimes means hard here at Power for Parkinson's, but like fun is also fun, right? Okay. We're doing it one last time. Just, oh, give me a home. Actually, let's do home, home on the range since that's what the song's called. We got it. Big smiles. Do as much as you can. If it doesn't work for you, that's okay. You don't have to do it. Just sing with us. Here we go. Home, home on the range where the deer and the antelope play. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Yay! You guys are great. We did it. We're moving on. If it didn't work for you, let it go. We're done with it. If you want to come back to it, again, this video will be up for a whole week. So you can come back to it and perfect it. Um, have a good time. Okay. Song numero uno. 
number one. Um, again, thank you to Robert Camper for the lovely song suggestions. Um, first one we have is Bad Moon Rising by Credence Clearwater Revival. So we've got, I see the bad moon rising. So arising, we get a little bit of a peak there, arising and come back down. I see the bad moon arising. I see trouble on the way. So on is where we go up. I see trouble on the way. I see earthquakes and lightning. I see bad times today. So really it's the same melody, the two times, right? So we've got two lines and two lines, pretty much same melody. Let's do that again. I see the bad moon rising. I see trouble on the way. I see earthquakes and lightning. I see bad times today. All right, then we're to our chorus. Don't go around tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. Okay. Don't go around tonight. If you want, if you want on life, don't go around tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. Life. You're welcome to do that. Add a little water folly. Don't go around tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. This is a good one because it's got a strong beat with it, yeah? Then we're on to our second verse, which is the same melody as the first. I hear hurricanes are blowing. I know the end is coming soon. Cheery, eh? I hear rivers overflowing. I hear the voice of rage and ruin. Lovely. Same melody. Chorus. Here we go. Well, I don't go around tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. All right. I don't know. I probably would have deleted that all right. Um, but since it's there, we're just throwing it in. All right. You got it. Okay. So every single one of our verses in this song has the same melody, which is beautiful. And really, I think most of our, I think all of our three songs today are pretty much that way. So um, the third verse, here we go. Hope you got your things together. Hope you are quite prepared to die. So optimistic. Looks like we're in for nasty weather. One eye is taken for an eye. Now chorus, and we've got our chorus twice for our big finish. Well, I don't go around tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. And then we repeat that. Um, I'm going a little bit quickly, but we'll do it a little bit slower when we actually do it. Um, also, since we have the same melody three times, um, and the choruses obviously repeat, um, there's not a ton of trickiness as far as melody goes. So I encourage you to try keeping time. So give a little tap on your leg or a snap. So join me in that if you want to. Um, admittedly, I am not the best at that, um, at keeping time while I sing, but we can try together, right? So um, feel it in your bones. Give a little shimmy shake if you want. Um, that's also an alternative. Instead of instead of like actually tapping out a rhythm, you can just move however you want to. I hear hurricanes blow. Okay, from the top, 
We're not going to go too fast, but again, try to give me a little bit of movement. Um, Betty, it is a beautiful day in Austin. And JK, I cannot see you. I can see you in my mind's eye, but I cannot actually see you. You can only see me. Um, so uh, I feel like I will know if you're doing what I'm asking you to do. Just like I'll know, like I'll understand if you're doing it, watching you, but um, I won't actually be able to tell. So not to worry. All right. Adios, Roberto. Have a good day, my friend. Okay, here we go from the top. Give a little snap, a little tap, whatever you've got. I see the bad moon rising. I see trouble on the way. I see earthquakes and lightning. I see bad times today. Chorus, don't go around tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. I hear hurricanes are blowing. I know the end is coming soon. I fear rivers overflowing. I hear the voice of rage and ruin. Here we go. Don't go around tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. All right. Hope you got your things together. Hope you are quite prepared to die. Looks like we're in for nasty weather. One eye is taken for an eye. Here we go. Well, don't go around tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. Again, don't come around tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. Yeah. Nice job, y'all. Really, really nice. Um, I did link the karaoke track in the lyrics document. So when you click on this little link up here um, in the chat box, you can, um, if you're on a computer, that is, uh, you can click it and sing karaoke along with the backing track after class. So very fun. Let's move on to our second song, which is a little bit more cheery than the first. <laughs> All right. Down on the Corner, again, by Credence Clearwater Revival. We've got early in the evening, just about supper time. Let's do that line again. Early in the evening, just about supper time. Over by the courthouse, they're starting to unwind. Four kids on the corner, trying to bring you up. Willie picks a, picks a tune out, and he blows it on the harp. Okay, we're going to do that whole thing again. Here we go. Early in the evening, just about supper time. Over by the courthouse. They're starting to unwind. Four kids on the corner trying to bring you up. Willie picks a tune out and he blows it on the harp. Okay, then we get to our chorus. Not to worry, we're gonna explore that melody again with our next verses. So our chorus is Can't Keep a Beat. Mm. That might be me, Bob. There's an app for that. I love it. All right. Our chorus goes. Down on the corner, out in the street, Willie and the poor boys are playing. Bring in a nickel, tap your feet. Bring a nickel, tap your feet. Okay. Let's go back. Down on the corner, out in the street, Willie and the poor boys are playing. 
Bring a nickel, tap your feet. All right, again, we're gonna revisit that melody. Second verse is, Rooster hits the washboard, and people just got to smile. Blinky thumps the gut bass and solos for a while. Poor boy twangs the rhythm out on his Kalamazoo. There's a tongue twister. Poor boy twangs the rhythm out on his Kalamazoo. And Willie goes into a, wait, Willie goes into a dance. There it is. Willie goes into a dance and doubles on kazoo. All right, let's do the second verse again. Um, this is one of those songs that I feel like a lot of us probably know the chorus or at least recognize the chorus, um, but I definitely didn't know what they were saying in the verses. So if it's taking you a minute to kind of get the feel for it, that's okay. No worries. What we want to do is do as much as we can. Um, so if the chorus is really familiar to you, but the verses are not, that's just fine. Um, just make sure that when we get to that chorus that you feel really solid, sing out and use that vocal power. Here we are on the second verse. Rooster hits the washboard and people just got to smile. Blinky thumps the gut bass and solos for a while. Poor boy twangs the rhythm out on his Kalamazoo. And Willie goes into a dance and doubles on kazoo. Chorus, down on the corner, out in the street, Willie and the poor boys are playing. Bring a nickel, tap your feet. Let's do the chorus one more time. Down on the corner, out in the street, Willie and the poor boys are playing. Bring a nickel, tap your feet. Okay, I'm gonna give you just a moment to look at the third verse and see if you can put the verse with the melody. On your own, put the words with the melody. Um, just take a moment just to challenge your brain a little bit. Um, remember, rooster hits the washboard. So that's the melody, but we want to put these new words for the third verse that you don't need a penny. I'm giving you just a sec. Right. Did you figure it out a little bit? Okay, let's do it together. This third verse, here we go. You don't need a penny just to hang around. But if you've got a nickel, won't you lay your money down? Oh, over on the corner, there's a happy noise. People come from all around to watch the magic boy. All right, JK, yes, we are feeling our muscles. We are using them. Um, that's what this is all about, right? So um, throat muscles are gonna help us with our speech. They're gonna help us with swallowing, um, all kinds of good stuff. So that's why we're here doing our vocal exercise. All right, let's do that third verse one more time. Here we go. You don't need a penny just to hang around. But if you've got a nickel, won't you lay your money down? Over on the corner, there's a happy noise. People come from all around to watch the magic boy. Okay, that is tricky to put the words with the melody. Then to finish it all out, we've got our chorus twice again. That's our big finish. We've got the chorus and then we repeat the chorus with feeling. Okay. We've got this. Uh, we're going to go from the top. Have fun with it. JK, let us know where you are checking in from. Where in the world are you? We like to know. All right. Let's go from the very top early in the evening. Again, it's got a nice little beat. I am not going to try to keep the beat this time just because, you know, I did that. Feel free if you want to. Feel free to move. Don't be too stiff. Um, and remember, this is our vocal exercise class. So, we are trying, uh, Pennsylvania, awesome. Um, we are trying to make sure that we have a good volume, good clarity, um, good articulation, all that good stuff. So here we are from the top of Down on the Corner. Here we go. Early in the evening, 
just about supper time. Over by the courthouse, they're starting to unwind. Four kids on the corner, trying to bring you up. Willie picks a tune out, and he blows it on the harp. Down on the corner, out in the street, Willie and the poor boys are playing. Bring a nickel, tap your feet. Rooster hits the washboard, and people just gotta smile. Blinky thumps the gut bass, and solos for a while. Poor boy twangs the rhythm out on his Kalamazoo. And Willie goes into a dance and doubles on kazoo. Chorus, down on the corner, early in the street. Willie and the poor boys are playing. Bring a nickel, tap your feet. You don't need a penny, just to hang around. But if you've got a nickel, won't you lay your money down? Over on the corner, there's a happy noise. People come from all around to watch the magic boy. Down on the corner, early in the street, Willie and the poor boys are playing. Bring a nickel, tap your feet once more. Down on the corner, out in the street, Willie and the poor boys are playing. Bring a nickel, tap your feet. It's not quite the big finish we were looking for, but it works. You guys did great. Awesome. I felt the energy. Yeah. I felt it. I felt you kind of like strumming on your like banjo or whatever we've got going on there. I like it. Um, and I had a hard time actually not tapping out the rhythm because it is so rhythmic. Um, but again, karaoke track is linked in the document. Um, so feel free to go and sing afterwards and have fun with it. Yay, Jay and Esther. Hi, guys. I'm so glad y'all are on with us. We're having fun. We have one more song today. We are going Credence Clearwater Revival all the way. We've done this one before. We are revisiting it because it's fabulous. Why not? Um, so we've got Proud Mary. Um, we're just jumping right in. Here we go. I left a good job in the city. I wanted to mention, if the um, range that I am singing in does not work for you, you are uh, welcome to sing it an octave down or an octave up. Um, and an octave means you're just singing the same, essentially the same notes, but in a different part of the scale. So instead of, I left a good job in the city, if you want to do it lower, I left, I left a good job. I don't, mm, I think that's too low for me. I left a good job. I left it. Mm, yeah. I don't know. Anywho. Okay. So we're just moving right along. We're just, anyway, Maggie. All right. Um, JK. Yes. You can, uh, revisit this um, after, so after class, it's going to be reposted and it'll, or it'll be posted on our YouTube page for a whole week. Um, so you can come back to it. All right, let's get going. I left a good job in the city, working for the man every night and day. And I never lost one minute of sleeping, worrying about the way things might have been. All right, backing it up. First verse, I left a good job in the city, working for the man every night and day, and I never lost one minute of sleeping, worrying about the way things might have been. All right, then we're down to our chorus. You know that big wheel keep on turning, Proud Mary keep on burning and we're rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. All right, let's go back to our chorus. You know that big wheel keep on turning. Proud Mary keep on burning. Do you hear this slide? Proud. 
So instead of just proud Mary, proud. So it's kind of like when we do those siren sounds in our warm up. Um, we haven't done those probably in a little while, but when we go, oh, right? So we're kind of sliding up to it. Proud Mary, keep on burning. And we're rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Second verse is the same melody as the first. Cleaned a lot of plates in Memphis. Pumped a lot of tain down in New Orleans. But I never saw the good side of the city until I hitched a ride on a riverboat queen. Same melody for our chorus. You know that big wheel keep on turning. Proud Mary keep on burning. And we're rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Say we're rolling. Rolling, rolling on the river. Next verse. We know the melody. We've got to put the words with it. Um, I'll give you a second. Since we know this melody-ish, um, I'm going to let you take a minute and walk through in your mind. Or you can do it out loud since I can't hear you. But see if you can put the third verse, if you come down to the river, to All right, here we go together. If you come down to the river, I bet you're gonna find some people who live. And you don't have to worry if you got no money. People on the river are happy to give. All right, did you get that? Yes, Betty, that's a great, great point. Um, CCR music is great to walk to because it has a really strong beat. Um, and there is definitely research studies that have shown that walking to a beat can help our Parkinson's gait. So it's awesome. Okay. Then we go to our chorus. Big wheel keep on turning. And proud Mary keep on burning. And we're rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Repeat. Done. Benito, we're rock stars, okay? This is the last part of our exercise class, our vocal exercise class. Um, so just like when we, in our class with Lauren or Debbie or Polly or whoever, we're going over all of the pieces of the exercise, right? And we're adding on pieces and pieces, right? Um, we're adding on different exercises and layering it all together. Then we turn on the music and that's when we do it all together, right? We're doing all of the things. So that's where we are now is we've gone through each of the little pieces. We've added it all on together. And this is where you get the most bang for your buck, okay? So this is your workout. Um, Jay, so I don't know that CCR, do they do the tempo increase or is that a Tina Turner thing? Hmm? We can increase the tempo for the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because then you get your Okay. Done. <laughs> Here we go from the top. I left a good job in the city. Stick with us. Have fun. Smile through it. Here we go. I left a good job in the city. Working for the man every night and day. And I never lost one minute of sleeping, worrying about the way things might have been. You know that big wheel keep on turning, proud Mary keep on burning. And we're rolling, 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 rolling on the river. Cleaned a lot of plates in Memphis. Pumped a lot of tain down in New Orleans, but I never saw the good side of the city until I hitched a ride on a riverboat queen. You know that big wheel keep on turning, proud Mary keep on burning, and we're rolling, rolling, 
rolling on the river. Say we're rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. If you come down to the river, I bet you're gonna find some people who live. And you don't have to worry if you got no money. People on the river are happy to give. Big wheel keep on turning. Proud Mary keep on burning. And we're rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Yeah, we're rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Woo! There we go. Great, great, great job, y'all. You are awesome. We did it. I hope that you felt like a star today because you look like a star. Um, y'all are awesome. Thank you for joining me today. Um, Robert is not watching right now. Hopefully he'll catch the replay. And thank you, Robert, for the song suggestions. Y'all feel free to send song suggestions. You can put them here in the chat. You can email them to us, whatever works for you. If you're in our Facebook group, you can um, put them in there. That's super fun. Um, if you're on Instagram, I think Delaney posted something today uh, asking what songs you want to uh, see us do. So y'all send suggestions. I'm so glad everybody likes CCR. That's awesome. Um, JK, thank you for joining us. Um, was this your first class with us today? So good to have you here. Jay and Roger and Patty, so glad. Betty, Mary, Esther. Oh my gosh. We had such a great crowd today. You guys are awesome. If anybody's out there, um, I know folks are out there that have not checked in on chat. That's a-okay. Um, if you ever want to, we are thrilled to have you check in on chat. Karen, Joe, y'all are awesome. Um, we are really grateful and always love to connect with you guys. So don't feel like you have to check in on chat, um, but if you ever want to, we're here and we love to chat with you. Um, we do have a Facebook page that we are sort of just like a community um, that's kind of a social thing and we'll give announcements in there and stuff. Um, it's just called the Power for Parkinson's Community Group. If you are someone that we've seen and you check in on chat, we will probably automatically know you and be able to accept you. Um, if you haven't checked in on chat with us, just send us a message or make sure you answer the questions that are on the thing when you request to join the group. Um, that way we know that you're one of our participants and um, so we can keep it a private group for just our folks. There we go. Delaney just linked it. That's awesome. Um, Patricia, Sharon, Mary, Karen, Joe, uh, Heidi, you guys are so great. Yeah, I thought everyone sounded really good today too. I think you guys have all been really practicing. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, any questions, thoughts, concerns, feelings? Random, anything? Vicky, yay, Marty. I'm so glad. Marty, y'all make my day too. It's really, really fun. I love to be here with you guys. Yay. Thank you, Zave's grandpa, <laughs> Len. Glad you guys are back in business with your water there in Arkansas. It's good stuff. Um, JK, there is no fee. Power for Parkinson's is completely 100% free. Every single thing that we do. Um, okay, I lie. Not every single thing. Um, almost every single thing that we do. There is one paid option. Um, we always take donations. So if anybody wants to donate, they're welcome to. The other thing um, is that um, we... Uh, have a membership here on YouTube that if you want to have access to even more of our pre-recorded live stream videos, you can pay to have a monthly membership on YouTube specifically. Um, but we do keep these videos up for a full week after they air. Um, so you'll always have a good, you know, five or so, five or six videos that are um, live stream videos that are available to watch. Um, so you definitely don't have to pay anything. Um, that's part of our mission. We are a nonprofit organization and we always offer our classes for free. So join us every day of the week. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we are on at 1 p.m. Central. Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, we are on live at 11 a.m. Central. Is it 11.30 on Sunday or 11? 11? Okay, 11. Yeah. Um, Jamie, yay. I'm so glad. Vicki, yay. Jane. Oh, Larry says hi. Hi, Larry. 
Yep. And then Sunday, um, Saturdays, we do post um, a new class for our young onset workout, which is a little bit more high intensity. Um, and so we post that, I think, around mm, 930. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's what we got, y'all. Um, yeah. Don't forget to like. Thank you, Jay. Good reminder. Um, like and subscribe. We have so many people that follow our page and um, don't actually hit the subscribe button just because, you know, you can still find us even if you're not subscribed. But subscribing will help you to find us and more easily and it helps other people to find us because um, it kind of puts our position on YouTube a little higher. So that's a great thing. All right, guys, that's me. Thank you guys so much for being here. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And um, tomorrow, oh, big important thing. Tomorrow, Nancy is going to be doing her dance class, her rhythm and moves class. Um, here on YouTube. So that's exciting. We've been doing that class on Zoom, um, but we wanted to try YouTube just to see if it's a, a little easier format for everybody to jump on. It's a really fun class. Um, you get to kind of, it, it's still a fitness class, right? So it's not like a ballroom dance or anything like that. Um, it's just a fitness class with more kind of rhythm and a little bit more fluid movement, some dancey type things. So it's a fun, fun class. Nancy is an awesome teacher. So tomorrow we have two classes, two live classes on YouTube, 11 a.m. Central. Um, we're going to have a premiere, I believe. So uh, we'll be showing a class of Debbie's and we'll be chatting during it. Um, it won't be a live class, but we're going to be live on chat. So you can jump on, follow along. It's a good class. And um, we'll be chatting with you guys to encourage you and keep you going. And then one o'clock tomorrow, 1 p.m. Central, uh, we've got Nancy here on YouTube. It's going to be so fun. And we would love to have a big crowd to welcome her to YouTube for that class. So please feel free to log on and check it out. Um, even if you're not sure if it's for you, um, great thing to check it out. Chris, yes, Donut Nobis Pacha. Donut Nobis Pacha. Would love to do that one again. I think we've done it before. I don't know. We'll try it. I know we used to do it all the time in our Powerful Pipes class. So we'll definitely check that out again. I'll do it for maybe our warm up or something next time. So. All right. That's it, you guys. Have a great day. Have a great rest of your week. And I will talk to you. Yes, 11 on Sunday. Is it 9 on Saturday or 9.30? Um, but yes, we've got all the times. Okay. Bye, guys. Have a good one.